Hi, thank you for joining us for a Newton Design Series on Ironic with Jim. Jim, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, I'm Jim Roland Hagen. I work for Rackspace um, on OnMetal over there and Ironic Upstream. I've been working on OpenStack and Ironic for about two years now, maybe two and a half. And I've been PTL for the Metaka and now the Newton Cycles. Great. And can you give us a little bit of background on what Ironic is? Yeah, so Ironic is the bare metal provisioning service in OpenStack. Um, our goal is to uh, make bare metal feel just like VMs in that you can call Nova, and instead of getting a virtual machine, you just get a full-on bare metal machine back. Um, there's also some work to make it standalone as well for those that are trying to set up an OpenStack environment. So you can use Ironic to deploy your bare metal machines and then run Nova on top of that. Got it. And so we're about a month uh, away after, I guess, the Austin Design Summit. So what were some of the hot topics that your team discussed and what were the outcomes? Yeah, so networking is always our hottest topic. Um, when you don't have OVS running, uh, there's a lot of really interesting things that you need to do to get SDN in general working on top of your bare metal cloud. Um, so we, we've we been working on some multi-tenant things with that for a couple of cycles now. And we're diving into more of the, um, how do we separate the physical infrastructure from what users actually see so that users don't need to know about the actual cables and switches behind their bare metal servers and rather just, you know, boot on a network, boot as many ports as they want, that sort of thing. Um, so we had a ton of discussion about that. Our other big topic was testing, um, getting our CI better, getting it more reliable, getting more things tested, um, upgrade testing, getting rolling upgrades going, that sort of thing. Got it. And then for the Newton cycle, what are some of the user needs that you're focusing on? Yeah, so those were a couple of them. Um, networking in general, making that better, making it uh, just work more like virtual machines. Um, a lot of things around operability, so that CI stuff comes into play there, making it really reliable, making upgrades reliable. Um, and, then, and then beyond that, um, we're looking into how we make operations more automated and ironic. So when a machine fails, um, right now we just kind of throw it out of the pool. How we uh, better notify operators when that happens, and <clears throat> bring it back into the pool automatically if it's just a network blip or something that dropped the machine. Um, we're also trying to allow other software to get insights on how the ironic deployment is doing. Um, so better logging those failure cases, better emitting notifications when something happens so that other systems could hook into that and do things. Got it. And I think you already answered part of the next question I'm going to ask, but how does this translate into, I guess, the top three, either new features or enhancements to existing features for Ironic in this cycle? Yeah, I guess I did start answering that, huh? Um, so yeah, those are two big things we're working on. Um, beyond that, we're also working on our Nova integration, making that better, um, making it more scalable. We did architect that last cycle, but then a lot of work was happening in Nova within the scheduler. And based on that, we're actually re-architecting it to fit on top of that work. Um, so I think it's going to be even better than what we designed last time. Awesome. Sounds good. And the product work group uses this notion of themes, you know, scalability, resiliency, modularity, manageability, and interoperability. What are some of the key themes that uh, Ironic is focused on for this cycle? Yep, so obviously manageability is a huge one for us. Um, you know, making it, we generally want it to be a really good operator experience. Um, most of us in the community are also operators. And so uh, we feel the real pain that operators feel downstream. Um, we're also working on resili resiliency, kind of the same idea. Um, we're sick of touching the database or getting our hands on production when things fall over. So we're working on making Ironic handle those better and um, just be a nicer experience. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I think that's about it. Um, we'd love to have some more contributors. 
we've got a really friendly community. Feel free to jump in our IRC channel and just talk to us and see how you can help out. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jim. Yeah, thank you. Good day.